Good morning Splash and Bubbles. It's really, really lovely to have you with us. I know it's really hard not being together in church on Sundays. We all miss it a lot and hopefully it won't be too long until we can all be back together again. Haven't we had some lovely, lovely sunny light days this week? Really hot and sunny. Hope you've been able to go out and enjoy it with your family. And we've had some really light evenings, haven't we? Because we had the longest day of the year, a really light evening. Did you find it hard getting to sleep when it was so light at night? Sometimes it's hard when we don't have the dark, but we just can't get to sleep. Well, we're gonna think a little bit more about that later. But first, I think we will have a little look and see what Tim and Hannah are going to be doing. They're going to, in a moment, do a little obstacle course in our garden. And that might not sound too difficult, but I thought we'd make it more difficult and try putting a blindfold on them. So they're gonna have a little challenge to do uh, with their blindfolds on, and we'll see how they get on um, with their blindfolds and see where we go from there. So watch and see. On your marks. Get set, go. Oh, they've got to feel their way. Oh, Hannah's first to find the shoes. Tim, Tim needs a little bit of help, I think. Yeah, we can do with a sit down. No, nope. Hannah's dancing around one shoe. And I've got to find balls next time. Yeah, now they've got to find three balls. Oh! One, and throw it and try and get it in the bucket. No, Tim, that wasn't the bucket. Oh, <laughs> One. Can we walk? Oh, Hannah. I heard a bucket somewhere. Have we got to get all three in? No, no, just one in. Oh, I see. <laughs> oh, hit a bucket. Oh, Hannah's under the limbo stick. Tim, you've got to catch up. Press on. She's trying to hit the ball. No, Scott is bouncing. You've got to find the ball, Han. I don't know where the thing is. Oh. <laughs> Here he comes. Oh, oh. Right, Tim, now you've got to find where the football is and kick it into... Not quite yet. It fell forward. Hey, Hannah's got a goal. Tim's. Tim's. Tim's not... No, a little bit further right, Tim, maybe, I think. Mm, no, a little bit further right. That's it, that's it. No, right, up, right, right, a little bit further. Yes, can you kick the ball into the goal? <laughs> hey. Well, I wonder, we've seen it with the blindfold on. Tim and Hannah, shall we have a go without the blindfold and Come see on. how yeah, that goes? Yeah. Okay, I'll give you a count off and we'll see how it goes this time. Okay, three, two, one, go! <laughs> Hannah, go! Oh. oh, they're much more speedy. Oh, Timbo the Limbo. <laughs> And, oh, oh, no goals, much easier. Right, thank you. Well, Hannah and Tim, uh, we've just seen you doing it once with the blindfold and once without. Tell me first, the blindfold, how was it? It was really dark, you can't see anything. Difficult. Couldn't see anything. Couldn't no. do it. Really Couldn't hard. do it. Yeah. And then second time round? Much easier. Yeah, we like that, much easier. In the light. To see, yeah, all the difference. Uh, so next time we do it, We'll go in the light. I think yep. that's a good plan. Great. Thanks very much. I wonder if anyone has ever told you a lie, something that wasn't true. What was it? Or mm -mm, have you ever told a lie? Maybe you've heard stories in the newspapers of people telling lies, saying things that aren't true. Well, do you know what? In the world, people lie about things to get their own way. They want their own way, so they lie. And when people lie, mm, it makes things go dark or a bit misty inside of us when we lie. And we can't figure out what's right. Oh, we start to get a bit lost. We've told a lie and things go all higgledy-piggledy inside. Have you ever been out at night in the dark? What's it like? Maybe it's the stars, the moon. 
Maybe it's a bit scary. Maybe you love being out at night. What do you need to help you see? Well, if it's a full moon, you look up, you might see the moon. If there's no moon, you probably would have a torch, a torch that would help see where you're going. Would well, you know what? Today we're thinking about a bit in the Bible where it says, Jesus says, I am the light for the world. Follow me and you won't be walking in the dark. You will have the light that gives light. That verse is from John chapter 8 verse 12. Jesus is the light of the world. You see, when it's dark, we can't see properly and we, we don't know which way is the right way to go. Tim and Hannah found it really hard to do the obstacle course with the blindfold on. They couldn't see where they were going. They were running into things. But actually, once the blindfold came off, and maybe when it's dark, when the lights are switched on, God, things are much clearer and we can see what's going on. Our world, I'm afraid, is dark because people have said so many things that just aren't true. But you know what? When we know Jesus and when we listen to what he says, it's like a big powerful torch going on and it shines on everything and do you know what we can then see what's true and what's not we can see what's right and what's wrong so we need to remember that Jesus is the light and actually when we know Jesus when he's our friend actually his light can shine through us to our friends. So let's see this week. Let's see, can we shine as a light for Jesus in the things we do? For our craft activity today, um, we thought, we've been thinking about Jesus being the light of the world, so we thought maybe we could do a simple activity uh, involving light. So I have my able assistant who, what you need for this, what do we need? We need a jar. It could be a small jar, a big jar, any jar that's big enough to take a little night light. Do you want to hold the night light up? Any jar that's big enough. Okay, we also need some different coloured, any colours will do, uh, pieces of tissue paper and you can cut them into shapes, random shapes, they don't have to all be the same. Little pieces of tissue paper, uh, some PVA glue, uh, a brush and some scissors. So what you do, we're going to talk you through and show you one that we made earlier. You take your glue and you take your jar, take the brush, and you coat the outside of the jar with glue all the way around the side. Sticky, 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 sticky. And then you take one by one a piece of the tissue paper and stick it onto your jar in strips. Then you take another one and try and overlap them if you can so that you haven't got any little gaps in between. So you go all the way around the jar like that and then leave that jar until the glue is dry. Once the glue is dry, take your PVA glue again and you glue on top of the tissue paper all the way around so then it's really stuck to your jar and you leave that to dry. A little bit later, we come to a finished object. Hannah did one earlier. Stuck the tissue paper on the side and it's all stuck on because of the glue. And then if you have a night light, a little night light, you can pop it into your jar and use it. And actually when it's lit up, it looks a little bit like a stained glass window. And hopefully that can be a reminder for you this week of Jesus, the light of the world. So we hope you have fun and don't get too sticky. Have a great week.